Bill Shorten is headed west with a big funding promise, pledging to increase WA's GST allocation. It's a move that could win over disgruntled Liberal voters, but could also cause a billion dollar budget blowout. An early morning run as the sun rose in the west. Morning. Bill Shorten linking Gough Whitlam's famed slogan to the same-sex marriage postal survey. A visit with all the feel of an election campaign and a big spending promise to match. A Shorten Labor government will invest no less than $1.6 billion in a new fair share for WA fund in our first budget. Currently, for every dollar Western Australia gives in GST, they only receive around 34 cents in return. Labor's promising to bring that up to 70 cents through separate additional payments until the GST allocation levels out in 2021. My opponent says that he's the first Prime Minister to acknowledge the problem. I plan on being the first Prime Minister to fix the problem. It's a typical uh, Labor promise with money that they haven't got. Uh, it is uh, playing catch-up, uh, it is uh, trying to copy. The government's made similar payments in recent budgets but are now focusing on long-term structural changes. We also pursue a floor, a GST floor in the future in a way that is fair and that is durable and that enhances our national economy. After a state election wipeout in WA, the seats of several federal ministers now look shaky and the road here to Kirribilli House could well run through the West. Even if a formal campaign is still years away. Charles Croucher, Nine News.